deadly attack at Jehovah's Witness gathering in India. Ex-Jehovah's Witness claims responsibility. In a shocking turn of events at the Zamra International Convention Center in Kerala, a serene gathering of Jehovah's Witnesses was torn apart by a deadly blast that came that claimed three lives and left 50 attendees wounded. The culprit, an uh, improvised explosive device craftily hidden inside an innocuous uh, tiffin box, unleashed chaos amongst hundreds of peaceful worshippers. The suspect, Dominic Martin, a disenfranchised former follower of the faith, brazenly claimed responsibility in a pre-recorded Facebook diatribe. He justified his heinous act by condemning the church's uh, eschatological teachings, declaring, quote, what should we do with people who long for the ruin of the entire people of the world? His chilling rationale casts a dark shadow over the community as authorities work diligently to corroborate his startling confession. So, one, I wanted to talk about this because this is obviously a big attack, and um, oftentimes we don't hear about attacks against Jehovah's Witnesses. And um, also, I didn't realize that there were Jehovah's Witnesses in India. Um, that's a side note. Oh, and yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. I think... Um, They're in the South Pole, too. I think, like what it's important to talk about this because so far i mean th there was a person that claimed responsibility um and he's the number one suspect and the thing is is that i think this is important to talk about as a community because um you know we are communities that is mostly people that are ex-members of a faith right there's some people that are part of our community that were raised in a non-religious family, but people that are actively involved in an atheist community tend to be people that left religion, right? And here's the thing. I do wholeheartedly believe that Je the Je the Hova's Witnesses are a destructive cult. They're a destructive group. They do have an extremely harmful belief. They do have an extremely harmful ideology. And it is a high control group that has a destructive influence on its members. However, this X, this XJW thinks that because of what he was taught about how they do long for the ruin of the entire people of the world. That is a, that is a very core part of the JW belief that there's only going to be a select few that survive and they are the select few that will survive Armageddon. And so apparently what you're supposed to do with people who have that belief is to do this. No, of course not. So I think it's important for our community that does comprise of a lot of people that did leave very high control groups, very high control communities and societies to present an alternative of a better way to deal with your issues with acclimating to society once you've left this group to deal with the trauma of the, the shunning that you've faced to 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 unpack and understand the really toxic ideologies that you were taught and believed in that you have a resentment towards now that you resent the groups that taught you things that treated you badly it's important for groups like ours to present strong alternatives to people who have left very toxic groups and ideologies. So that's part of why I wanted to cover this. Yeah, I think that's very well said. I don't have anything else to add to that. Yeah, this is completely unjustifiable. It doesn't matter. You know, the, 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 the Watchtower organization, which is another name for the JW group, has been involved in some extremely serious crimes and abuses, especially against children. That doesn't justify this. Yeah. Doesn't justify this. Um, All right. Let's do the super chats and then go to the next one is from Italy. So I'm interested yes. in that one. And, and um, uh, GJ said, At Susanna, you're a Hermione, never dumb. Blah, blah, blah. Well, okay. I think I'm dumb a lot. <laughs> I'm very hard on myself, though. 
Uh, but thank you. Um, and Yusuf, yeah, you, give us you, it's so stupid. Why would you think you're dumb? You're obviously one of the most intelligent people I know. People every, and everyone can tell. It's so it's so silly for you to think that you're dumb. But yeah, well, guys, like. Isn't isn't Susanna like one of the most intelligent people you guys know? It's for me she is, and I met a lot of people. I love I met a lot of smart people, and Susanna is one of the most intelligent ones. Oh, her her Bluetooth just got disconnected. Let me respond to what Yusuf is saying. Yusuf just got us another super chat. Yusuf saying, "Isn't Bill Warner hypocritical and anti-Muslim?" I mean, I don't know much about his stance on Muslims, but. For some reason, I got that sense from him. I read more about his work on Islam, and I didn't like it that much. I got the sense that he might be one of those people who is anti-Muslim, but I didn't see I, I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. Guys, this is why you don't trust. We need to have a wired um, link. Let me just spend some time with the... Uh, chat while Susanna figures this out. Um, okay, here's Mo is saying, one of my right-wing Hindu acquaintances who assumed that Jehovah's Witness were Jews before <laughs> it was found who was responsible blamed it on Muslims and so did many Hindu extremists on Twitter. Wow, really? So Hindu extremists on Twitter blame it on Muslims because they thought that Jehovah's Witnesses are Jews. Interesting. Uh, do you know who makes the most amazing, gorgeous, and other adjectives that I can't use here on YouTube? Blasphemous art ever? We do. And for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind.